We welcome you back to the Skyac Network on the campus of Pomona College here in Claremont, California, between the two rival schools, Pomona Pitzer and Claremont Mud Scripps. Say Jen's ahead of the Stags by seven. They lead by 63 to 56. The five for Pomona Pitzer, Malarkey, Bergman, Mora, Cookson, and Boyle. The five for the Stags, Carter, Fry, Cruz, McCalla, and Engel. The five who started the game. Malarkey's going to inbound it to Mora. High post entry. The Sagehens like to start their offense that way. Cookson, right baseline after rejecting a screen from Mora. Goes up strong with the right hand and puts it through. Cookson has been big all day. That's his 19th point of the game. Pushing the envelope there, getting inside. Tough finish. Pushes the Sagehen lead to nine. Cookson coming off a 20 point outing against Cal Lutheran on Saturday. Malarkey against Angle, gonna fall down. McCalla fumbles the pass on the left wing, gets it poked away by Malarkey. That was a great defensive possession for Malarkey. Active hands, active feet, stay with it even after falling down. Great job by Malarkey for that turnover. Bergman from the top of the key, he's already hit four. Can't quite get that one to fall. Angle the rebound, his squad down nine. Inside to Carter, backdoor pass to Angle. Moore gets a piece of it, but it still falls in. Beautiful offense from CMS running the high post entry to down low in the backdoor cut. Moore was close to pinning that one off the glass, but Angle got a little finish to go up the top of the glass. Moore thought about a three, decides not to. 12 on the shot clock. Cookson inside with the left hand. Scoop layup, not going to go. Fighting for it, McCullough. Ends up with the rebound. Pushing with his left hand in transition. Down to Fry. Spins back, hesitates. Engel, contested three. Off the front rim. Ty Bergman controls it. Brendan Moore decides to walk it up the floor. That time the catch wasn't clean either. Good job there by Malarkey. Staying in Engel's face, not giving him a clean release off that jump. Moore, right wing three. Just nicks the rim and falls into his home, former high school teammate's lap, Kieran Cruz. Defense chance erupt from the Sagehens. Inside pass, Cruz. Bounce pass inside to Angle. Can't come up with it. Goes up, gets fouled. It's going to go against Cookson. That'll be his fourth. Looked like both Boyle and Cookson got a lot of ball. But when he swiped down, a lot of times he didn't call for the foul. Big decision for Coach Cat. He's going to keep his leading scorer in the ball game with four fouls. 5-13 remaining in the game. At this point in the game, you got to ride him out. Angle's seventh trip to the line. He's hit nine of 12. Gets the first one to go. Moser and King into the game. Replace Malarkey and Bergman. Cookson will stay with four. Uh, that's the same that goes with King, too. He's got four now. He's going to get his run until hopefully not falling out. But with five minutes left to go, you got to put your dogs out there. The other side, Meredith checks into the game for McCalla as Angle goes two for two from the line. Timeout CMS. All of a sudden, Vice, it's a five-point game. Pomona Pitzer ahead with 5.13 remaining. We'll stay right here, 30-second timeout. This game went from 16 to 5 in a blink. Both student sections on their feet. The school spirit beginning to pour out. I should be see, interesting to see if Cookson opts to play conservatively on the defensive side of the ball with four fouls. That's going to be tough to do because he's had the responsibility for the most part, guarding Angle, guarding Cruz. We'll see if that assignment changes with both Mora and Moser on the floor who've taken some of that responsibility. But it's important to note, Moser's got two fouls too. So Cookson will bring the ball up the floor. Cruz will defend him. The team leader, Brendan Moore, a one-on-one -on -one with Fry on the wing. Use the screen from Boyle. He's going to use one from King. Cookson fires. Moser trying to size up Angle. Boyle, six seconds on the shot clock. Moser got to force one up. Shot fake, top of the key. Wedges in between the backboard and the rim. And CMS. A chance to make this a one possession game with a bucket. 
Every possession from here on out is going to be monumental for both sides. Cruz, one of the contested three, now shoots it. Bingo! Kieran Cruz looks at the student section. He's fired up. Two-point game. Just like that, we got a whole new ball game here. 414 left. Stags down one, or down two. Inside, Mora gets it to go. Good answer from the team captain, the senior, Brendan Mora. My heart is racing, MJ. Can't, can't imagine how these guys are feeling. That time, Cruz icing his veins on that last shot. Meredith from downtown off the back iron. Corralled by Mora. Vice is the games you live for. Both commentating and playing. The senior Brendan Mora playing in possibly his last Sixth Street rivalry game. Trying to make the most of it. King at the top of the key. Looking to Moser on the curl. Deep three-pointer from Boyle. Mora fighting for the rebound. Going to be tipped out of bounds at the Sage Hen bench. And we'll head to our final media timeout. Under four timeout, 325 remains. Pomona Pitzer, a four-point lead over the rival Stag, 67-63. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're in for a thrilling finish.